Hi everyone! If you enjoy uh, drawing with color pencils, you probably have uh, noticed that they leave um, residue on your paper. Uh, whether you work with black paper or white paper, you'll find uh, specks of colors that either get there by just coloring a lot, or if you um, sharpen your pencil, you have residue and you don't necessarily see it, so as soon as you put it down you, you have some uh, falling onto your paper, or you have dirty hands. Um, it does show more on the black paper than on the white paper, but it's the same thing. And so if you like to keep your paper clean and have a nice drawing, nice and clean, um, you have different ways of cleaning it. Um, if you use an eraser, it works, it should work. The problem with black paper especially, it's, doesn't, it's not necessarily a problem with white paper. But if you use an eraser, you'll kind of uh, turn the um, slightly shiny surface of the paper all matte. And then you'll see, I'll try, I'll try to make it more obvious for the camera, I hope it works. Um, and so you'll see that there is a, um, a difference in the, in the shine of the paper. And so if you're going to draw over it, that's fine. It didn't really ruin the paper at all. There's still tooth and you can still draw on top of it. But if it's going to be part of your background and you're not going to add anything to it, then it'll be obvious and it won't look good. So this is an option that works if for white paper. Black or dark uh, color papers, I wouldn't recommend it. If you use a kneaded, whoop, if you use a kneaded eraser, uh, it will be the same problem if you rub it. Um, but it's a little sticky, so what you could do is just dab, and that just picks up um, all the little specks without uh, leaving a mark on the paper. So this is what I personally do. I think it's something um, that's safest and works the best. If you try to wipe it off, you risk kind of smooshing the, um, the specks down and then put some uh, marks on the paper that are going to be even harder to uh, erase. So what I do first when I see all those specks that my paper is dirty, I use a, draft, a drafting um, brush. You can also use like a big very soft makeup brush or something like that or even a paintbrush and I try to remove as much of it as possible. Uh, it's gonna do a very good job it usually removes all the loose pieces but often you'll have uh, some that's uh, sticking to the paper and so uh, what I like to use is mounting putty so it's called fun tack or blue tack or you have different brands this one used to be all white uh, I've used it a lot and so now it's um, you can't tell it apart from my kneaded eraser uh, just to make sure that it's not the same size that way I can tell which one is which but you can see it's very dirty um, I used um, I used it for this color and it sticks to it so like a uh, kneaded eraser just knead it and so and then it'll just go away and then you can use again but this is what it looks like when you buy it usually. This one is blue but it's not going to leave any blue residue to, on the paper. And there are strips and then you just um, pull a little piece and you make a little ball. And it's much stickier than a kneaded eraser and I think it does a much better job without um, leaving, without ruining your paper. So all you do really is just dab. You can dab as hard as you can. It's still not going to do anything on the paper. It's just going to clean it. And it works very well. Um, on your white paper, it's the same thing. You might not notice it as much as on the black paper, but when you draw on white or lighter color papers, then you will have residues just as much. So wipe it. I don't see anything. Maybe one here. But it does the same job. Also, I find that, um, again, especially on, on black paper, um, this is very good for erasing. Um, if you have an area where you think you put too much color, for instance, you can just go over it and remove it. It's most likely not going to go 
uh, back to the original black of the paper but it's gonna get pretty close uh, and it's gonna depend probably on the color of your pencils but if you've uh, overworked your layers and put too much and need to add another color um, and but you can't because it's already saturated you can just go ahead and dab your mounting putty and remove some of the pencils and then go over it again with your pencil and it sh you should be able to add uh, more layers so it's a great eraser as well and I think it works better than again yeah I already said that but the kneaded eraser because it's thick here so on white paper it works the same you can erase it just as well and the good thing with this just like the kneaded eraser is that you can shape it so if you want to remove just a little bit of color just dab it so you shape it and you dab it and you see how it removed it it's right there so I'm just gonna push it into itself and then and then I can use it again and I can make you can't really make lines or anything because then you have to rub it but and that's not the point so anyway um, I'm gonna put a link down below to um, to show you where you can find uh, mounting putty um, but you should be able to find it in places like grocery stores if they have uh, an office aisle office supplies or any office supplies uh, shops or Walmarts or uh, places like that probably hardware stores as well um, because these are used to hang to hang posture uh, posters on walls and other things they're pretty sturdy anyway I hope this was helpful and I'll see you next time for another quick tip